topples the Reserve Bank of India's third rate hike in four months, up 50 basis points. This means that EMIs and fixed deposit rates are set to rise, but the RBI says their main focus is controlling inflation. Asked on the rupee, the RBI governor also said the RBI will do what it takes. Expect your loan EMIs and interest rates to go up as the Reserve Bank raised its key lending rate by 50 basis points to 5.4% back to the pre-pandemic level. The main target is to fight inflation which has been above the bank's comfort limit of 6% for the last six months and is expected to remain so till December. On the other hand, the Indian economy has naturally been impacted by the global economic situation. We have been grappling with the problem of high inflation. On the assumption of a normal monsoon in 2022 and average crude oil price, that is Indian basket of US dollar 105 per barrel, inflation is projected at 6.7% in 2022-23. This is the third interest rate hike in just four months to control soaring inflation. Commercial banks borrow money from the Reserve Bank at this 5.4% interest rate. They add their own rates to this to charge of us for our loans. That is why this rate hike means that getting a loan will now get more expensive while FDs will get more rewarding. In May, before any rate hikes of this year were announced, you had to pay 40 lakh total interest for a 50 lakh 20 year loan from SBI. It went up to 47 lakhs in June after the two rate hikes were announced and it's likely to now go up to over 50 lakh rupees. The EMI stood at over 37,000 and it is now likely to go up to 41,000 rupees. With crude oil prices falling, the Reserve Bank also expects edible oil prices and supply concerns to soften. While the Reserve Bank is confident about India's economic growth, retaining its forecast for this year at 7.2%, it defended the rupee slump. The rupee depreciation has happened in an orderly fashion thanks to the stated policy of RBI and thanks to our you know, steady improvement in the market to prevent volatility. So rupee depreciation has happened in an orderly fashion and Rupee has depreciated by 4.7% against US dollar till yesterday and it has fared much better than several reserve currencies as well as many emerging market currencies as well as many of our Asian peers. The Reserve Bank's rate hike comes at a time of piling economic worries. Inflation has been above RBI's comfort level for the entire year. Rupee hit record lows of 80 per dollar. Trade deficit is at a record high. Forex reserves are at a near two-year low. Recession fears are looming in major economies. And lastly, decade-high rate hikes have been announced in the United States and in the United Kingdom. They've also added to the worries and pressures of the Reserve Bank. With these conditions continuing, more rate hikes cannot be ruled out. Priyanshi Sharma for NDTV.